Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. This is your first time here. My name is Latia B. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new line from the company Curls. It is their green collection. Now this collection has not even dropped in stores yet. It won't be available until December 30th. However, I was able to purchase the entire collection for $25 during their Black Friday sale. Now this line consists of five products and they include the C Kelp Curl Cleanser, which is a vitamin infused, vegan shampoo for healthy hair and scalp. The C Kelp in this shampoo is a natural source of vitamins A, B1, B2, C, D, and E, as well as minerals including zinc, iodine, magnesium, iron, potassium, copper, and calcium. Next up is the green tea hair rinse and it is supposed to restore your hair's pH, balance your porosity, and add sheen. Green tea has antioxidants and is vitamin rich, is full of powerful antioxidants and caffeine that helps stimulate your hair follicles and encourage growth. Next up is the Sea Kelp and Cucumber Hair Mask, which is a vitamin infused growth enhancing vegan hair mask. The cucumber juice yields hair silky and shiny. While cucumber juice is also good for your hair, it contains silicone and sulfur, which collectively stop hair fall and promote healthy hair. The bamboo protein treatment is supposed to strengthen and thicken your tresses naturally. Bamboo extract is the richest source of silica containing 70% of organic silica, which is 10 times more potent for a prominent effect on strengthening hair. Last in the collection is the avocado hair mousse, and it says that it is a moisturizing, vitamin-packed, growth-enhancing styling mousse. If you want to see how I achieved this super bomb voluminous hair, then make sure that you watch to the end so that you can see how I achieved this style and also hear my review of all of the products. To start things off, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the C-Cup Curl Cleanser. And I'm just going to do that on camera today. My hair is currently in four sections, so I'm just going to wash my hair in those four sections. So I have my spray bottle here to add some you know, moisture, add some water to my hair to make sure that the shampoo is able to act and work as it should. This smells like cucumber melon. Like if you've ever had that cucumber melon um, lotions from like Bath and Body Works, that's what this reminds me of y'all. And it smells so good. This is my hair after freshly being washed. My scalp feels really clean, but my hair does not feel stripped of its natural oils, which is perfect. So next I'm going to go in with the green tea hair rinse. So to use a green tea hair rinse, you're supposed to use it after you shampoo your hair, which I've already done. And then you add it to your hair and leave it on for a few seconds and rinse it with cold water to seal the hair shaft and create shine. So although this is a green tea hair rinse, in my personal opinion, it um, smells more like the cucumber melon scent. So I'm just going to take the hair rinse and just apply it to my hair. So I just got done rinsing out the rinse. <laughs> And this is what my hair is looking like so far. Honestly, y'all, my hair had a weird reaction when I um, rinsed this out. Um, it became, my hair kind of became a little stiff. I have no idea what that was about. I did go ahead and um, use cold water as they suggested, but I kind of am thinking that my hair just does not respond well um, to cold water. So yeah, it's looking 
a little cray cray right now so i'm hoping that maybe the deep conditioner will help me with that so for the deep conditioner the cool thing about the bamboo protein treatment is that it can actually be used four ways so it can be applied as a leave-in it can be added to your deep conditioner or you can use it like before you blow dry your hair for thermal protection and you can also use it as a deep conditioner itself so for today i'm going to go ahead and use it as a um, add it to the deep conditioner so i'm going to use a sea kelp and cucumber um, hair mask and then i'm going to uh, add a little bit of the bamboo protein treatment to that so this hair mask Interestingly, since it is sea kelp and cucumber, I would think that this has that like more cucumber melony smell, but it doesn't. I mean, I could still smell that cucumber smell in there, but it definitely smells more um, sea kelpy. I don't know. I don't even know if I really know what sea kelp smells like, but you could definitely tell that it's cucumber and something else. <laughs> this bamboo protein treatment smells closer to the sea kelp and cucumber hair mask than the um, sea kelp shampoo or the hair rinse. So I'm gonna do like a spoonful of the protein treatment and just add it into the bowl. And you can see that the protein treatment is also super thick. So it does feel really good going on and it is making it really easy to detangle my hair, which is great. I feel like there's definitely getting, um, it's definitely getting some moisture added back into it. All right, y'all, so I have to say that that hair mask and protein treatment definitely saved my hair. You know how I was telling you about after I used the hair rinse, I felt like my hair was feeling a little weird. But after using the hair treatments and rinsing them out, my hair feels a million times better and it also looks a million times better as well. So to style my hair, I'm actually going to do a wash and go using the hair mousse. And I've never done a wash and go using hair mousse before. So let's see how this goes. The mousse doesn't get as foamy as other mousses that I've used in the past. And it also has like a slight, um, it's not greasy, but it does kind of have a thick consistency once you add it to your hair, which is something that was pretty um, surprising to me. I've now applied the mousse all over my hair and this is what it looks like. This side of my hair obviously is still super wet because I just finished it and this side is the side that I've already finished and it is a little dry. So at this point, you can either choose to let it air dry or you can diffuse your hair, which is what I'm going to do. And if you want a um, full video of how I diffuse my hair, just let me know because I am going to do that part off camera. Okay, so while my hair does look really good right now, as far as like the volume and the way that it moves, there are some drawbacks that I have about this line but i'll go in order um from you know the product that i use first to the one that i use last to tell you guys what my thoughts about them are so the sea kelp curl cleanser i actually thought that this was a pretty nice cleanser i felt like it was um fairly moisturizing so i really don't have any you know cons about this product 
However, the green tea hair rinse, y'all, this threw me for a loop. Now that I'm looking at the ingredient list, which is actually really cute, the packaging of these products I think is really cute. So it has the front label, and then it tells you like the benefits of the products, and then the ingredient list is here, and then it tells you um, how to pretty much how to use the product. This hair rinse. Now that I'm looking at the ingredients, I see that it does have hydrolyzed keratin. Um, which is essentially protein and it does say that you're supposed to only leave it on your hair for a few seconds and then rinse your hair in cold water so let me tell y'all so when I was adding this to my hair it had like the slightest lather it what didn't lather up like a soap or anything like that but it did have like this slight lather to it and I didn't attempt to like detangle my hair with it in there because I just felt like it would not have been possible I felt like my hair was just not that it I don't know my hair just felt weird like it felt kind of um like do you know if you've ever used the apple g protein treatment and how it feels when you put it on your hair that's kind of what this rinse reminded me of not like after you blow dry and it gets like rock hard no not like that but just like once you apply it to your hair how your hair feels that's what this reminded me of and i did follow the instructions and it said to leave it well in the video you can see I left it in for more than a few seconds which is probably why my hair felt the way that it did but I did rinse it initially with cold water like they said to do and y'all my hair felt like straw so I ended up going over my hair with some warm water just because when I wash my hair generally speaking I either use lukewarm to warm water because I know my hair doesn't respond to cold water but because I wanted to follow the instructions I did use a cold water but that was a mistake on my part for the C cup and cucumber hair mask um, you saw in the video that I did combine that with the bamboo protein treatment and I'm actually really happy that I did I feel like the hair mask on its own probably would have been really good um, but because my hair has been kind of dry and we're in those super cold months I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add the protein treatment to it um so yeah I feel like had I used this protein treatment on its own it may have been like protein overload for my hair but I feel like the combination of these two actually did save my hair from the hair rinse I do plan on using the hair mask on its own to see how you know my hair responds because I feel like I may have an even better response using this on its own lastly is the avocado hair mousse this product was super interesting. So first and foremost, like I said in the video, I don't feel like it foamed like my usual foaming products. Like I've used the mousse in the past and it was like super foamy, like came out just like straight foam. But with this product, it kind of had like a thick kind of feeling to it. And I actually ended up using quite a bit of the products in my hair. It's like down here already. And that's because it wasn't super foamy. So I felt like I had to use more in order to thoroughly coat my hair. But when your hair is wet and you have this in here, I suggest that after you finish putting it in your hair and combing it through, shingling, fearing, coiling, whatever it is that you do, don't touch your hair because your hair is going to have a greasy feeling. I thought that I was tripping out, but now that my hair is dried, it's actually not all that greasy anymore. Um, but overall, I felt like it was a good setting product. I felt like it definitely defined my curls very well and the back curls always be bobbing. So <laughs> um, those look really good. Those look really good too. However, this has left like a cast on my hair, but it does have my hair a tad bit crunchy. So I probably will go over with some oil just to get rid of that cast on my hair. Um, but overall, I feel like, you know, it did a good job with giving me a super bomb wash and go. But yeah, I feel like this product is, this line is okay. Would I purchase it again? Probably not. I will probably purchase the Seacup Curl Cleanser by itself, but I don't know if I will purchase any of the other products. I really like the Cashmere and Caviar collection, so I'll probably just stick to that one. 
Now y'all, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like I said, don't forget to leave me some comments down below. I love interacting with you all and responding to you all. And do not, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Y'all know I love my subscribers. And today's subscriber shout out is actually going to coming to you curly. Um, that is her name on Instagram. Like y'all, she be showing me so much love, especially on my Instagram page. Like. She just goes in and I just appreciate it because I just love the love. So yes, yeah, so if you want to be shouted out in my next YouTube video, then make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure that you are active on both my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram page. And you can find me on there at So Dazzling. It's the same as my YouTube, super easy to find. And with that, y'all, do not forget to stay dazzling. Mm -hmm.